Okay, um, if you know, I have hacked a virtual private server. How did it do it? Um, the user is uh, running on XAMPP. So, this is the URL, hamohotel.slx.nl And these are the two uh, directories, database and hotel. Database, okay, that's PHP my admin. What I did, I did go to web dev folder. So there you go, web dev. Uh, I'm sorry that I'm don't using a recorder. Try like this option. So we did go to the web dev folder. We did go to Google and type in web dev upload client. So we downloaded this thing, uh, bit connects. We had connect to it. Wait a little moment. Um, we had to connect to it. Yes, there we go. So there it is. Hamohotel.slx. Uh, we can delete it. Wait. Okay. Um, we are going to add a new one. A new HTTP web dev. So it's YouTube. So this in this case it is it comes slash uh homo hotel dot s l x dot n l slash web dev. Okay. The default username is W A E P and the the default password is X A M P P security needs to be at none none no ssl just none press ok protocol specification not allowed here we are going to copy it anyways if you have added it it's going to ask for the uh, click on it, it's going to connect. You got it. And you're uploading the C99 shell. The C99 film. Wait a little moment. Okay, the C99 shell. You can download it from the internet. Uh, so you're going to download the C99 shell. I already did that and I already. We have downloaded the C99 shell. Very interesting. C99 shell.php at the web dev folder. So we are going to uh, PHP boot no uh, tools. Was it? Yeah tools. Now you press an enter we are going to put in this information and then your, your username and password that you want to add slash add. Net local group administrators and the name that you just added slash add. Net local group Remote desktop users and the user that you just added, slash add. And when you did that, do not add the last code. So you added it, uh, you're going to your remote desktop connection, Hama Hotel of SLX, my one was supporter, my password is 27 and connect to it. And if it is correct, you can connect to the virtual private server. This is not mine. My server is right here. And there. That one is not turned on, but this is my server. So we're going to a little bit zoom out. And there you go. We have actually hacked it and we are currently in his virtual private server. So the next thing what we can do, we can actually edit everything. In this case, we are going to change his password. So, we're going to administrative tools, system users. Blah, blah, blah. He decided to pay me 15 euros, and if he's not going to do it because he. Uh, okay, user, there we go. Add mini, that was the user that I added it, but was not what it needed to be. So, support, no. Administrator person set password proceed no password. We can actually change it in everything what we want.
Whoops. Uh. Uh. Okay. I'm going to set this. Um, when he had, when he's 100% done. It's the user that I'm going to hack. If you want this Amazon address. Oops, there you go. This is his Amazon address. So there you go. I'm Dutch, so I'm going to talk a little bit Dutch right now. Is the... Is at Hotel of Club. If not, I know that, but... There was more tutorial. That was actually a little tutorial. I hope so that uh, you liked it. And I hope so that you uh, enjoyed it. And you can hack a lot of people with this. You can uh, say, yes, I got a hub hotel and shitty shit thing. Or they have an exam server. And to prevent this hacking, delete... Uh, wait, computer, C, exam... To prevent, uh, to prevent that your exam server is going to be hacked, delete the web dev folder and the anonymous web uh, folder, and uh, move uh, PHP my admin to the HT docs folder and rename it. That's the best way to not be hacked. And install NT DOS for shitty thing. So that's what my tutorial. Thanks for watching, thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and I watch it.